Hi there, welcome back to Mark My Words. My name's Mark Waite and today on this video, we're gonna talk about how to feel good. What it takes to feel good, right? Because if there's a choice between feeling good and feeling bad, you'd pick good, right? Absolutely. But the truth is that there are some keys to feeling good that we need to adopt into our lifestyle and there is a lot of things happening in our world right now a lot of distractions that perhaps weren't there five or ten years ago that are competing for our attention and we end up being so spread in our focus that we don't achieve much sometimes so on this video I'm going to talk about three key things that I've adopted in my life to help me feel good and I know they can work for you too up next on this video so you know you get one crack at life and if it's a choice between feeling good and not feeling good well you pick feel good every time right so today we'll talk about three key things that I've uh, applied in my own world to help me feel good day in day out and you know let me preface it by saying that life happens and there are things that happen in our life that cause us not to feel good obviously I'm not talking about those things I'm talking about just our everyday life and really feeling energetic and feeling enthusiastic and having a real purpose and clarity of thought around making progress in our life and you know how, how we feel about ourselves has a lot to do with how we progress on a day-to-day -day basis and so feeling good is really a, a, a great way to live it's a great goal to aspire to um, so how, how can you wake up and fall asleep knowing that you're on track for great things so here's three things that I think are important number one one thing as I said earlier there are so many things in our day-to-day -day life that are competing for our attention and it causes us to be really spread in our focus and so we generally warm a large area of things that that capture our our, our attention uh, we spend some time on each of those things looking at social media looking at that that uh, post that we really didn't go on to social media have you ever done that have you ever gone on and online to do something intentional and straight away be distracted by something else and then you've spent 10 minutes on that something else and you've actually forgotten why you've actually went on, to, on online in the first place has that ever happened to you or has it just happened to me I, f I discovered this was happening to me quite a bit through some self-reflection uh, a while back and so I have since then built into my um, personal operational rhythm ways to protect myself from being distracted from all these shiny new toys and all these things that are competing for my attention <laughs> so one thing is is one of the things that I just had to get locked down and squared away in my own life to continue the productivity and getting to continue you know achieving results in, on a day-to-day -day basis which helped me feel good and uh, so the one thing is really important focus on that one thing so you might have a goal to lose five kilos um, do yoga every day uh, learn a new language and make an extra 50 grand a year okay that might be a goal for 2020 but can I encourage you just to pick one of those things just pick one just one not two or three pick one thing and get that achieved because it'll give you confidence then and it'll help you feel good and the chances of you achieve, achieving the second and the third thing is much much higher when you get one thing achieved so it's really about 
locking down and saying, right, what's the one thing that I'm going to do today that I can achieve and help me progress in life? So the one thing, not two or three or four things or five things or more, one thing. It's really important. So if you've got a goal, say, to lose weight, and say you're, I don't know, 95 kilos now and you want to get down to, say, 90, then the key tree is, how's this, eh? Like you can record a video and you can guarantee there'll be distractions. <laughs> so this is real life. Um, one of the things about being on YouTube is that it doesn't matter when you decide to uh, record something, there'll always be something in the background or something that distracts you from this one thing of doing this video. Uh, it could be the next door neighbor shoveling gravel out of a trailer, which has a steel bottom, which makes a noise. It could be the other next door neighbor, which happened the other day when he was on his uh, angle grinder, grinding some steel, which interfered with my video. Um, it could be some distractions at home. So here at home, Kate and Pippa um, have left <laughs> so I can create this video without any distractions, right? But it's a matter of focusing on the one thing, right? And this is a good example of what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> um, you know, what I, one of the things I love about uh, staying fit and training is that you can just, in that training session, <laughs> focus on the one thing, right? So, you know, if you're in a CrossFit session, for example, there's not too many things you can think about other than staying alive. Um, <laughs> you know, when you're, in, when you're in a high intensity training environment and your heart rate's jacked to 80% or higher of its capacity and you're sweating and you're gasping for air, so there's another distraction, right? There's my, there's my irrigation system. <laughs> my irrigation system has just popped up and it's getting all the air out of it. So it's making that noise in the background you can possibly hear. Um, <laughs> focused on the one thing in a, in a training session. You know, sometimes when you're in a high intensity environment, all you can think about is that one thing. And that is, how do I stay alive through this? Uh, and that's what I love about it. So you can achieve that session and get it behind you for the day. I love training first thing in the morning because it's done then. And I can get it done and tick it off. And it helps me, it helps me set myself up for the rest of the day. The other thing I love to do is, uh, is when I get a chance is to go mountain biking. And one of the good things about a mountain bike, and I, I, I love it, you know, and the reason is because when you're on a mountain bike heading down a single trail in the bush, uh, coming off a hill, you, you know, you can't think about too much else other than that five or 10 meters that are in front of you. Um, you you're just trying to focus on the line, right? Pick the line through the trail, through, avoid the roots, avoid the rocks, avoid the trees, focus on the line you want to focus on. And when you get to the bottom of the hill, it's a fantastic feeling. You just can't help but feel great. And this is what I'm talking about. It's the same in business and in life. Pardon my uh, waste collection system going on here in the background. Um, it's the same in life, right? I'm going to continue with this video because it doesn't matter when I do it or what, what time it is. There's always going to be something in the background trying to compete. So this is a good, uh, a good exercise for me to just get this one out. Um, so again, you know, focusing on when you're training in any sort of level of sport, you can only focus on that one thing, and that is how do you stay safe? How do you get to the end of the, of the course safely, not fall off? That's why we have one of these, you know. Um, <laughs> this is called expecting the best, but preparing for the worst, right? Because um, you don't want to have to ever use that. That's why you wear them. You don't ever want to use them. But so the one thing is really important to focus on in business and in, in your career and in your life and in your day-to-day -day thing. So when you write down your goals for each day, what's the one thing you're going to focus on today? The second thing to help you feel good is tell three people, people that, that will keep you accountable, uh, people that will remind you of and they'll inquire, how are you going with your goal? How are you going with what you said you were going to do? Maybe some, maybe your critics, right? Tell your mother-in-law, right, what you're going to do. There you go. Uh, that'll help you stay motivated. So tell your partner, your best mate, and your mother-in-law, right? There's three, three people you can tell about what you're going to do, and they'll keep you accountable and keep you on track. And it'll help you 
stay focused to get it achieved so you can feel good and the good, part of the good feeling is telling those guys that you've told that you've actually achieved it. Or the third way of feeling good is every single day. So habits don't have weekends. You know, write that down. You can sit there and write that down now. Habits don't have weekends. So to create a habit, it has to be daily. And so if your goal is to stay uh, or get in shape, for example, or your goal is to uh, increase your income, your goal is to expand your business, if your goal is to give more money to something you believe in, what, what are you doing today to actually see that goal realized? So it has to be every day. Consistency is one of the big things in life that produces fantastic results. You know, so many people, I see them sometimes, you know, in, in, in a CrossFit environment or in business or um, just in, 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 career, in the career world where people want to do great things long term, but they're not consistent around what has to be done to achieve what they want to achieve. So consistency is the key. I know, um, you know, when you're getting fit, one, it, if it's daily, the benefits of st being the benefits of staying in shape and doing it daily far outweigh the physical. What they transcend across into the feeling that you have that you've achieved, that you feel fantastic, that you've actually gone ahead and done what you said you're going to do. And, you know, obviously there's physical benefits of staying fit, but it's more for me anyway, and I think it's for, for a lot of guys who are, you know, in shape, it's the mental wins that you have over yourself that make you feel fantastic. And it gives you the confidence then to face into anything that you're looking to face into on a day-to-day -day basis, challenges, opportunities, obstacles, whatever they might be. And you know that you know that you know that you've got a really big chance of being able to overcome these obstacles because you've overcome yourself, right? In staying fit and staying consistent and staying uh, consistent day in, day out around the things that you have set yourself to achieve. You know, the thing about that is by focusing on one thing and doing it consistently day in, day out, they're, they're ridiculously doable, right? Anyone can do that. That's not hard, that's not rocket science. And the rewards are so much greater than what you're actually set out to do in the first place. You know, if your goal is to, to make more money and in, expand your income circle, you know, once you've achieved that, not only do you get the benefits of extra income, obviously, but you, the, more importantly, you get the benefits of, of just knowing that you've done that and, and there's, there's nothing compares with that feeling of, of being true to yourself and actually doing what you said you were going to do, not to anyone else, but to yourself. And it gives you a confidence, it helps you then walk taller, walk a little, with a little bit more confidence. You face into life's challenges with a whole heap more gusto and optimism than you would when you are you know, consistently setting goals and, and not being true to yourself and you're, you're good at starting things but not good at finishing things. You're good, at, you're good at, say, writing things down and, and having a goal to do something. You'd like to achieve something uh, this year, but you get a, a day or two or three into it and all of a sudden something will distract you from that one thing and all of a sudden that becomes a habit and now a week's gone past and you haven't done anything towards what you said you were going to do and the feelings that that creates are ones of... Um, discouragement, ones of, uh, you know, hopelessness and you just don't feel good about who you are and what you're about because you know that you've set a goal before and it didn't happen then so what's the point of doing, doing, setting another goal now because I know myself too well and I know I'll get started but I won't finish it. You don't want to be that person, right? Don't be that person. Just do whatever it takes to be consistent daily around that one thing that you're looking to achieve and the feelings you'll get far outweigh the actual goal itself. You know, for example, the feelings you get when you have achieved a goal about who you are and what you're about 
and the confidence you have in your own ability and your capacity, that feeling of just knowing that you can do it far outweighs achieving the goal, whatever that goal might have been. So there you go, there's some tips on three ways to feel good. You know, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell, and that way when I upload a new video, you'll be able to be notified of that straight away. Also, in the descriptions panel below, I have my 10 bold steps. These are 10 bold steps that I took to help me fast track my comeback from a serious life setback of a business and marriage collapse over 10 years ago. They're yours today free. Just by clicking on that link, I'll ask you for your email address. That way I'm able then to send that out to you via email. And they're 10 bold steps that I took that you can apply to your life and they'll help you fast track your comeback as well, I'm sure. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for joining me today.